it's Femi from Femi X here. So in this video, let's talk about what is a capless wig. So stay tuned. Okay, so a capless wig is also known as a wefted wig or a open cap wig. If you see me look this way, I'm just looking at my notes so I make sure I can give you all the content that you deserve. And I have a capless wig to show you the difference right here. The wefts are actually sewn together. This is actually a lace front capless wig that I've purchased in the past. So this is a capless wig. So some people like to wear capless wigs because they can, you know, it's a lot breathable. Um, it's a lot lightweight. And this is a cap wig. Full cap wig. So you can definitely see the difference. This is an actual cap, so the wefts are actually sewn on a cap. But here, the wefts are just sewn using a very light cloth, so there's no cap at all. I don't really like capless wigs because when it comes to washing, sometimes the hair comes out and it like it like gets in between the wefts, and it just gets really annoying. Um, and then see, like it just comes out this way especially during washing and it's just annoying trying to like get all the strands out outside of the outside of the wefts on the other side of the wefts and i just feel like with caps the wig is just a lot more durable but i will say if you do work out or if you sweat a lot then um capless wigs might be better for you if you just if you sweat profu profusely then you, you might want to get a capless wig so that your scalp can breathe. But like I stated before, I really recommend getting wigs with caps. It's just a lot more durable. And I just feel like these last a lot longer than the capless wig and a lot less shedding too, in my opinion, when it comes to the cap, I mean capless wig. And the capless wigs, like I stated, it just can get really messy. Just trying to keep all the strands aligned, trying to keep all the strands on one side of the cap so and not for it to go inside, which can be very annoying, but it's more in preference and definitely consider just how much you sweat because you don't, you don't want so much sweat under your wig and that, and you don't dry it out that can cause infections and just scalp issues down the road so what i usually do like when i used to go to the gym before the condola hit in 2020 and you know what i'm talking about so what i used to go to the gym i would just i would wear a regular wig like this and when i got home i would always take off um, my wig so this is a lace front um cap wig it is glueless so i would just damp my hairline if i if i install the wig with like gel or spray take it off and I literally would just take a hand towel and damp I mean to dry out any type of sweat from my scalp so if you do sweat and you get a cap wig all you have to do is literally just take it off and get like a, a paper towel just to dry up any sweat from your scalp so your your scalp isn't damp for long periods of time because that can lead to scalp issues and we want to avoid that so, like I stated, definitely recommend the cap wigs, um, but that is what a capless wig is, okay? Um, if you are looking currently for a really good wig, I'm actually wearing one right now. This is this wig is a cap wig, lace front wig. This is our deep wavy 20 inch from the Femi S Hair Collection. You can check it out on the link above my head or the link below. And if you like these tips and information, please like and subscribe to the channel. I will have more tips coming to you in the future. And thank you for watching. Again, this is Femi from Femi S here, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.